the country. Meanwhile, of course, in April, the Supreme Court is scheduled to hear a case on whether a federal law can require doctors in Idaho, a state with a near total abortion ban, to perform emergency abortions when the health of the mother is at risk. Until then, the abortion ban in Idaho remains in full effect. It's the latest development in the state that has contributed to growing confusion among doctors on how they can safely administer maternal yeah. care without the fear of some kind of criminal liability. Joining us now is Morning Joe reporter Daniela Pierre Bravo. Daniela, tell us more about the impact of that abortion ban in Idaho on what it's actually doing to women's health care in the state. Yeah, good morning, Caddy. The mostly rural state is already high on the list of maternal health deserts in the country. And in the last two years since Roe has been overturned, the retention and recruitment of medical professionals has taken a major hit. Take a look. Jennifer Adkins was expecting her second child when a 12-week ultrasound revealed severe complications in her pregnancy. Her doctor said her baby had Turner syndrome, a rare condition that can often end in miscarriage. They said it could take days to miscarry, it could take weeks to miscarry. And in the meantime, your blood pressure could continue to deteriorate and, and get higher and higher. We're all very concerned about, um, about the risk. Jennifer and her family decided not to take that risk. They traveled 400 miles from their home state of Idaho, a state with a near total abortion ban, to Oregon in order to terminate her pregnancy. Now she's in the midst of a lawsuit with three other women against the state of Idaho, arguing that despite facing severe pregnancy complications, they were denied necessary and potentially life-saving obstetric care. The lawsuit, which also includes two physicians, says the state's current abortion bans and its exceptions have sown confusion and fear among the medical community, making it nearly impossible for doctors to provide care in the state. I think that's really scary for providers. Dr. Lauren Colson, who represents a network of health care professionals in Idaho, says the restrictions on abortion care are taking a toll on those who fear repercussions of the law. We're all worried about that pregnant person showing up in the ER that um, that is destabilizing in front of us and that we can't do anything about until the, they are literally dying. That worry among doctors is causing many to flee the state. A new report by the Idaho Physician Wellbeing Collaborative estimates that since August of 2022, Idaho has lost more than 20 percent of its obstetricians. Maternal fetal medicine obstetricians who handle high-risk pregnancies have gone down by 55 percent. There are less than five left in the state practicing full-time. Rory Cole, a fourth-year medical student in Idaho, is having difficulty deciding whether to choose a residency program in the state, saying the strict abortion laws are discouraging her from staying. As more people leave the state, as more doctors leave the state, as more residents decide not to stay here, as more medical students decide to not pursue training here, that the um, outlook of health care for that population, for Idahoans, is more challenging. There's been a big push to continue to train family physicians with these family docs potentially being more inclined to leave the state, leave these rural communities. That's going to leave a lot of places without primary care as well. Unfilled roles that have affected regular care for pregnant mothers. Dr. Frank Johnson, chief medical officer for St. Luke's, the largest medical group in Idaho, told me mothers have to travel hours just to find available doctors. He shared the case of one pregnant mother who suffered blood loss but couldn't get care close to home. They had to go somewhere else to find that care and during that uh, period of travel, uh, things went awry and uh, that, uh, that, that baby was lost, unfortunately. Whether, whether the fetus could have been saved uh, with earlier care, I don't know. But certainly the complications to the mom were uh, greater because of that delay that uh, she had to go through with travel. During our interview, Jennifer Adkins shared that access to regular maternal care is something she's now worried about now that she's pregnant again. Jennifer also mentioned that this pregnancy is already proving to be different than her last one, saying that finding available appointments has been challenging, being sent to a number of different hospitals across the state just to find care. All of this comes at a dire time with the maternal mortality rate in the state experiencing an upward trend, making access to regular care even more important. And in the last two years, guys, the two hospitals have closed their doors and NBC News obtained a letter sent to employees stating that another women's hospital in Caldwell, Idaho, is set to close its doors this April.
And of course, it's not just Idaho. We're hearing the same stories from Florida, from Texas, from Ohio as well. Women just not being able to get the health care that they need. Morning Joe reporter Daniela Pierre Bravo. Daniela, thank you. Um, so